world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today, I want to show you the new Honey Badger Tanto, full size HCR13 MOV um, and FRN handle, the normal one, the one I've been waiting for. Okay, over there we can see we get our normal Honey Badger sticker, we get our pamphlet with all the other honey badger knives and shapes in there we have a beautiful cutout in which the knife lies some silica and then a little tool these tools are extremely useful and a nice magnetically closing box okay now a knife's not in there because i already took it out i just put it back in its packaging because i wanted to show you what this looks like new okay i opted for the white one um, I know it's going to be dirty in a short while, but I just like this. Anyway, and there we go, the beautiful Tanto shape. This is a fantastic shape on this knife, and I think everybody's been waiting for this for quite a while. Satin finish, we have the Honey Badger logo over there, and then it's got the beautiful honeycomb texture, as always, in white. Big cut out to get to the bar. Same fantastic action you always get. We have a jump flipper, so it flips fantastically. And then, and then I do that. Okay, and then it's got the thumb D shaped hole, um, which makes flicking this thing a dream. Okay, both spidey flicking and normal flicking. And then, like I said, the large one is great. Okay, I like the large. I know some people prefer the medium ones, but I dig the large one. A lot of handle. It's a big thing. You can hold on to it. This one does not have a finger choil over here. Okay, this is my first video, so I'll do a full video on this thing later. I just wanted to show you what it looks like clean before I start playing with it. Okay, the grinds on this thing is fantastic. Look at that tip. Can you see the tip? Maybe. Okay, anyway, it's got a super PRC tip. Okay, and then on their site and everywhere, they keep telling me that Tonto blades were initially used um, to pierce armor. Now, today we don't pierce armor anymore. Well, hopefully not where you live. And then, whatever. But this thing, because of that slight belly over there, you can still use it for cutting tasks you can still use it for your normal woodworking things like you would a worn cliff or a sheep's foot blade the action on these guys always amaze me okay and because this is the 8cr one there we see it 8cr 13 mov because this is the 8cr one um and the frn handles i saw on the american site the what do you call it something active western active um, I saw on their site you can already start buying G10 scales for all of these knives. Now, that will eventually happen here in South Africa. I don't know why we are behind now, but yes. Um, so, that's going to be fun. And then also, if you buy this one, specifically the white one, you can dye it any color you want. I'm going to keep this one white because I've modified these poor things to death. So, I'm going to keep this one as is and use it for a while. Um, if I can remember correctly, this is like a three and a half inch blade, but we'll do full specs and full how it works and compare to the other ones in the next video. But for now, I just want to show you this. And this thing was, if I can remember correctly, 600 and something rand here in South Africa. So this is a great budget knife for the amount of knife you get and for the size and for the versatility of this thing. Look, you don't have the choil on this one. But I have no problem with that. Take your finger, wrap it around that, and you are fine. Um, you know if you want to stab something, not to do that. But if you want to carve something or whatever, then this is a fantastic... It's yeah the way I'm going to hold it. Anyway, um, well, you can do it this way also. It just feels like you're a bit further away from the blade, but not a problem. Um, and then, of course, because this is... A tactical knife it feels fantastic in reverse grip 
Okay, so you can really go to town on opening paint cans this way. Um, and then, yes, of course, like I said, we can spy flick, we can flipper, we can... What's that thing called? Upside down spidey flick or drop spidey flick. Anyway, and then you're already ready to go. And I'm pretty sure I can still use it pretty nicely for a bolt-on knife. So, new Honey Badger Tanto. Full size FRN 8CR13. The normal, normal one. And it's here and I have it. And I'm extremely happy to have it. Um, and the action on these things for the money. 600 something rand is fantastic okay that's me for now stay safe happy and have a good one also have a pleasant week and look after yourselves